Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what does it take to be a charge nurse and what does that role entail? But before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos two times a week here on this channel on Wednesdays and Sundays. Make sure you hit that notification bell because it really, really helps me out. But yeah. Let's get straight into it. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is what does the role of being a charge nurse entail? So our unit, our nurses start at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Well, the charge nurses start at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And that's because our church, our charge nurses make the unit for their ship. So the day charge makes the unit, the assignment for the day ship, where that's not always the scenario because sometimes the night charge on other units will make the assignment for the day shift. Now, I do not think that that is a good thing because the day charge knows the day nurses more and they're able to comprehend which nurses will do better in what situations. So I think that it's more appropriate if the day charge makes the assignment for the day nurses and the night charge makes the assignment for the night nurses. Generally speaking, charge nurses do not generally take a patient load, and if they do, they usually take less patients than everyone else, or patients with less acuity, that way they can remain a resource for the rest of the unit. And I say generally speaking because the charge nurses at our facility actually do not take any, but I've heard that other hospitals that they still take either one or two or even a full load while being a charge nurse. I used air quotations on that because if you're taking a full load, how can you also take on the role of being a resource for the other nurses at the same time? Another role that the charge nurse takes on is reviewing patient cases and determining if they're going to need anything else in their care. So once a shift as a nurse, I meet with my charge nurse and the case manager and at that time all three of us put our heads together to determine if there's anything that the patient is going to need on discharge such as PT, OT, scripts, stuff like that. So they review patients there. Also, if we're getting a new admin from a different unit, the charge nurse will typically review the case and determine if this is appropriate for our unit or if they maybe should be going to ICU or maybe they could go somewhere a little less critical. So they do review patient cases like that as well. Now the role of staffing is actually taken on by that department completely but the charge will generally work with them pretty often to talk about how many patients they have, how many nurses they should be bringing on, and if you call out sick, you have to call the charge nurse and you also have to call staffing, but they work pretty close throughout the day. Now, what does it take to be a charge nurse? The first thing that I believe all charge nurses should have is good customer service, because when it comes down to it and patients are not happy with the nurse, they have to have patience to be able to communicate through those situations. Now, if something needs to be escalated, it could go from the charge nurse to the manager and then even to the director, but hopefully the charge nurse can de-escalate it and handle the problem themselves. Some of the strongest nurses in this role I know are cool, calm, and knowledgeable. Now, they generally say that you need a bachelor's degree to be a charge nurse, but I believe that you really need a little bit more than that. It really takes a couple years to get the hang of it and you should have some knowledge under your belt if you're acting as the leader on the unit where nurses are going to come for you, come to you for advice throughout the day. And most importantly, like I said, a leader because isn't that the role of being a charge nurse anyways? It's taking all these things that we have talked about in this video and being able to apply it. Good customer service, remaining calm in stressful situations, having knowledge that you can spread to your fellow nurses and just acting as a resource. Charge nurses tend to get a lot of pushback, but a leader is able to stand strong without getting too worked up and pulled into the drama. They can de-escalate anything. And unfortunately, sometimes you get nurses in this role that really shouldn't be in it, and it clearly shows because they are not a strong leader. That's pretty much all I have to say about what it takes to be a charge nurse and what the role entails. Make sure you check out one of my other nursing related videos here. Please hit that notification bell and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.